All right, get ready for some heavy-duty political analysis coming up. Columnist Byron York writes in the Washington Examiner, and I'll quote, Eight years ago today marked the last day that old-style Republican politics dominated the GOP presidential race. End quote. That was the day Donald Trump came down the escalator, I believe, is what Byron is referring to. Byron joins me now to talk about it. Byron York, chief political correspondent for the Washington Examiner and Fox News contributor. And if that weren't enough, the great Charlie Hurt, Washington Times opinion editor and Fox News contributor. Byron York, this you outdid yourself, man. This is heavy duty stuff. I want to read another line in here. <laughs> now, mind you, I'm one of the few people living who worked for both Reagan and uh, Trump. Now, here's what the next, I think the really key line. Now another race is underway with a renewed battle between Trump and old-style Republicanism, representatives of what might be called the Reagan, Bush, Romney, Ryan era GOP. Holy cow. We just blew up the Reagan, Bush, Romney, Ryan era. All right, Byron, you got to defend yourself on this one. <laughs> well, actually, it was eight years ago today, July 13, 2015, that Jeb Bush had his last big lead over Donald Trump. <laughs> By the way, Trump had actually gotten into the race earlier on June oh. 16th of that year. Jeb Bush was up by eight points. In the next seven days, the ground would come out from under him. Trump shot up, was up by three points by the next week, 11 points swing in that one week, and then Trump's lead went up to 20 and beyond, and he never looked back. It was the last time uh, a real Bush tradition Republican led in a Republican presidential primary. And, and it, it changes, you know, the changes were astonishing. The changes that Trump made in what was the old Bush Ryan orthodoxy of the Republican Party. <sighs> Charlie Hurd, I don't know what to make of that. I'm sitting here, I, I might feel wounded. I'm not sure because I served at both ends, you know, <laughs> Reagan's first term and yeah. Trump's term. But I just want to ask one more question to uh, Byron. Byron, I understand what you're coming. Trump uh, is much more populist than the established people you mentioned. But Reagan cut taxes, so did Trump. Reagan was a deregulator, uh, so did Trump. And Reagan believed in peace through strength, through military strength, and so did Trump. So there are similarities, and there are and there are uh, differences of opinion, Byron. So just give us one Abs more absolutely. line before I get You're Charlie absolutely. to critique this. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, Larry, it's kind of like you were the delivery room doctor and the pallbearer. It was kind of uh, uh, interesting, but there were there were big parts of Republican. <laughs> Big parts of Republican orthodoxy, like uh, immigration uh, and trade and entitlements, um, that, that Trump just threw Republican orthodoxy out the window. Much more populist uh, tariffs and trade, much more restrictionist um, on uh, immigration. So uh, Trump really did make enormous changes. You're absolutely right about uh, peace through strength. And you're right about the tax cuts, because essentially, uh, Paul Ryan convinced Trump uh, in his first year to go for tax cuts as opposed to building the wall, which was Trump's premier campaign promise. Uh, but Trump made enormous changes in the Republican orthodoxy. Charlie Hurt, what do you make of all this? What do you make of this new Byron York well, I analysis? Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.